Anyway, let's continue our main story today, as all the side quests are done. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good. But you know, I had I had a decent dinner tonight, so maybe if I'm up late, I'll, I'll make one. Uh, okay. I guess that's where we're going. Hey, Cammy, how's it going? How's Sunday treating you? Oh, I thought this was a quest. No, it's just some dickhead wanting to fight me in the streets again. Okay, I think there's still the side quest of the Hostess Club thing where I have to go talk to women, but... I, mean, I can do that anytime, I think. I think I'd, I'd rather do main quest stuff today. Get up. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Having a good night? Good to hear. And you had chicken salad for dinner. That's nice and healthy. I mean, I guess I had salad tonight too. <laughs> Just with a, on the side of a plate of meat. Went to like a place that did stone grill. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is where I'm supposed to meet with Kido chan. Guess I should start climbing. Okay. Okay, I'd better go see what Kido chan wants. Please do voice acting. I think it will. Nope. So, Arai Aniki really did it, huh? I uh, couldn't believe it either. Arai san's too smart to get trigger happy with someone like that. Especially a two bit goon like Ihara. And nobody's seen him since? Nope. I don't know if the cops are onto him yet, Fox Nipples, but he killed that creep right there in the middle of town. It's only a matter of time before they figure it out. How are you holding up? You said you found Kanemura, right? Yeah, right after I lost those Ueno Sewa guys. Okay, he's good. Oh, this is going to be from the opening scene. I also love how no one questioned me saying fox nipples to this guy. That's fine.
I never got through to Arai Anarchy. Wound up reporting the boss's death myself. Must have been tough on you. Apparently he got stabbed in the back. No real sign of a struggle. That's not all though. The cops think the killer might be a woman because of how they found him. A woman? Yeah, his shirt was off and there were traces of lipstick on his neck and lips. So this girl came in promising action and gave Kanamura more action than he bargained for. That's what it looks like. Still, something doesn't add up. It's just, well, what's up? When I got back to the office, it was completely empty. That just doesn't happen, ever. True. You usually have one or two of the boys keeping an eye on things out front, especially when the boss is in. Not only that, but... But... I don't know. The boss never seemed like the kind of guy to fall for that kind of trick, no matter the girl. No. He didn't really ever talk about women or anything, and he hasn't exa- Oh, he wasn't exactly a spring chicken, if you get me. I hear you. But you never know. Huh? If the police are right, she must be one hell of a woman. You ever heard of, uh, Femme Fatale, Kido-chan? The Femme Fatale, what's that? A very special kind of woman. She might not be the most gorgeous girl in town, but da 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 But you can't... <laughs> I've ruined it. But you can't deny that there's something special about her. And just when it seems like you've got her, she suddenly decides to keep you at arm's length. But that only makes you want her more, and before you know it, she's the only thing you can think about. They say a girl like that will eventually lead you to total ruin. Maybe you'll find one of your own one day, Kudo-chan, a woman so alluring, you can't possibly pull yourself away. Can't say I'd complain if I did. Eh, enough about that, though. First things first, we've got work to do. Work? <laughs> Anyway, sorry, you had to wait, you buy an energy drink when you go to uni. They cost around four to five dollars at 7-Eleven. Only if you get one, but you can get two for six dollars, you'd be a sucker not to get two. <laughs> nah. That 7-Eleven's business model is like, make the price stupid for a single purchase, but you have to get two. Anyway, yes. Buying them at Coles is, is better, for sure. But I mean, sometimes it's just like, you're somewhere where there's no calls and the 7-Eleven is there. So, you may as well. Also, cheers for the follow. I'm glad me stumbling over my own words on a Sunday is, uh, is entertaining. Hi! <laughs> てめえ、遊びじゃねえんだぞ。指の一本で二本じゃ済まなくなるぜ。なんだと。そっちは鼻から首取られる覚悟でやってんだ。あんたらも肩に舐めてると痛い目に遭うぜ。言うじゃねえ
I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was always like, get the six. And that's how 7-Eleven operates, is they'll just make the cost of one really stupid. Dude, please. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The only other thing that they do have that I will give them is... They seem to have... I don't know if they have an agreement with certain companies, but... They seem to get unique flavors of certain things that you can't find anywhere else. Like, they constantly have... Uh, the more unique flavors of, like, drinks and chips and... Or, sorry, crisps or whatever you want to call them. Like, whatever you understand. Potato chips. I've always found that funny about here is like we say chips, but we know the context. Like we don't need to say that they're fries, and we don't need to say that they're potato chips. Like we understand the context. Ugh. Well, had enough. Damn it. We heard you were good, but we didn't know you were going to be this good. Huh. <sighs> Glad I have a reputation, at least. What else are they saying about me? You think you're so damn funny, huh? I don't know much, but... But what? We got boys heading to your office as we speak. No kidding. Tell me something. They as tough as you? Heh. <laughs> Sure are. Top of the Shibata family heap. Well, perfect. And I've got nothing to worry about. <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> You'll see. What are you doing? Oh, man. Come on. Akiyama. You're going to get rid of it again, huh? You don't have to forget about すぐ言うじさん。はい。言い訳はまた後で<笑><笑> Oh, we got a- we got a chase- wait, a chase battle? Okay. But I don't think it's the same as the other. When you're in danger of being caught, the icon will sometimes appear in the corner. Press triangle in time to stop. Well, this might be harder. Okay, I'm not gonna resort to Super Mario 64 music yet, but... Oh, okay. That's cool. Paco! <laughs> Paco! 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 I mean, damn, dude, fair effort. Like, I wouldn't be able to run in a suit like that and do all that shit. I'm sorry, but that dude should be dead. Yeah, no kidding. Sajou! 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I was ex I don't know why I was expecting more. Okay, count the screens. That's this is two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good, good, good UI design. Hey, how'd your little session with Sugichi go? Ugh, don't get me started. That guy really puts the dick in detective. What an asshole. No joke. But hey, if I were over 40 and still stuck as a beat cop, I'd probably have a chip on my shoulder too. You think that's all it is? You think it's not? I don't know, it kind of feels like he's, like, obsessed with you and Arianaki or something. How do you figure? He kept grilling me about how you two met. Oh, and he wouldn't shut up about wanting to know what Kanemura's loan terms were. Doesn't that seem kind of weird to you? I guess. Not that I can blame him for wondering. Why are you throwing your weight around? <laughs> Behind Arai Anaki. That's my little secret. Come on, Akiyama-san. You can tell me. <laughs> Maybe when you're older. Akiyama-san. No pressing business right now. Maybe I'll take a little stroll around the city before heading back to the office. There are no side quests, so I guess... Hmm? No, stop it. What are you so worried about, honey? It's not like we're going to take anything from you. It's all about what we're going to give you. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be sure to thank you real good once we're done. What do you say, baby? Someone help! Ugh, I don't have the gas in the tank for this. But I just can't sit back and watch. Hey. I'd suggest leaving her alone if I were you. Who's talking? We don't take advice from some no-name shit off the street. You should start. You're never gonna get a girl if you treat them like property instead of people. I'll treat a broad however I want. Besides, who the hell do you think you are? I bet you ain't no saint yourself. Guess we're gonna have to educate you. And I'm not talking for blackboard and chalk. I don't know why I make all the bad guys just bogan. Like, why, why do I do that? I just make them sound like they're just cartoon characters from some Australian drama show. Oh, you're gonna get it right now, I can't... Like, I, I can't make a villain sound British, or... No, they just- they have to be Bogan. <laughs> what 
what the fuck was that? For some heat actions after using it many times, you may discover a new technique. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, shit. That was pretty impressive. Oh, damn it, you're unreal, man. <laughs> no, that see, that doesn't suit it, does it? Uh, hey, it turns out you're right. I'm not a saint. Not after painting your face with my shoe, at least. Run along now, kids. Good, this ain't the last you've heard of us. Well, now that that's taken care of. Are you okay, miss? Hmm? Oh. Guess she ran off. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You there! Got a minute? Depends. What do you need? Well, I was just observing a scuffle of there, and I can see your physical potential is through the roof. Did you used to play any sports? Uh, not really. Pretty sure the last time I kicked the ball around was in middle school. Oh, so it's just a natural talent, understood. My name is Saigo. I run an operation in this general area. What kind of op- Oh, sorry. What kind of operation? I'm so glad you asked. Did you know about the looming crisis Japan faces? Crisis? What crisis? Put frankly, peace addiction. Nowadays, all people in Japan can think about is peace. Uh-huh. In my youth, I fought as a mercenary, mostly in the Middle East. I've seen many breathe their last, friend and foe alike. It was then I realized an astounding truth. In this world, anything can happen. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, I get it now. You're, you're a soldier. That explains the stocky build, the fatigues, and the bald head. Someone as strong as yourself must realize how everyone in this city is putting themselves at risk every moment of the day. They're too vulnerable. Huh. Same goes for you. You're not as clever as you think. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Hey! Those are the keys to my office. Give those back! <laughs> you may be a good fighter, but your senses are as dull as a doorknob. Did you set that up? Cut me some slack here, man. We just met. A strong individual like you should have no problem chasing him down. You better get going. Who knows what'll happen if you let him get away. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice. <sighs> here we go again. See, it just doesn't sound right when I do another voice. It's just, it's stupid. Okay. Press, hang on. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is way different than the previous one. This isn't like Kiryu where he like rhino charges them. Good enough for ya. Oh, looks like you've got a strong set of legs. I was right about you. I'm sorry, but your praise is less than flattering. Can I go now? Wait, I have to talk to you about something. Let's head to the roof. The roof? Could you just act normal for one second? Alright, cunt. Fine, I'll act normal. Jesus fucking Christ, you want me to use my real voice? Fine, I'll use my real voice. You like- you like it? You like that better? Yeah? Yeah, you do, you dog. You fucking dog. You don't like the nice voice, I'm gonna talk to you like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I could have known myself. Uh, so what did you want to talk about? Uh, don't look so sour. Anyways, what should I call you? Name's Akiyama. Akiyama-kun, seems like you get into fights nearly every day. <laughs> well, if I... <laughs> well, if I wouldn't have a choice, but that's the, just the way I had things have been working out. Wait, wrong voice. Oh, fuck, I've lost it. What on earth? Listen, I noticed that any time I do a voice for a villain, it's always the Bogan Australian voice. So I was like, what if someone had a more fancy voice? Like, it's clear you have a strong talent for fighting. It'd be a tragedy to see it go to waste. And then... I just kind of was like, nah, this is a real voice. It's just, it's, this is all a facade. I have to sound like this. Because otherwise people get intimidated by the shades and the tank top. Anyway. Are you interested in tapping into your dormant abilities? I can help you. What do you mean dormant? Pretty sure I hand out maximum beatings every day of the week. Hmm. Then let me ask you, do you feel any change in your body right now? Uh, change? A few moments ago you ran after my pupil, but you weren't simply running for running's sake. My pupil forced you to run in a style which you would use your muscles in the most efficient manner. So, how do you feel? Is your body somewhat lighter than before? Hmm... I guess now that you say so, I do feel lighter. Dash kick. Every person has to train differently depending on their build and their usual exercise regimen. Train correctly and I guarantee your strength will be multiplied. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see that. I'm pretty much always here, so you can come back whenever you want to train further. That's a really nice offer and all, but can I ask you something first? Mm -hmm. What? Why me? You don't even know me. Huh. I guess it's natural to be curious. It's hard to explain, but there is a reason why I chose you, and only you. I'll tell you more if you agree to come back. At least you sound like you know what you're talking about. Alright then. I'll stop by whenever I have the time. Great, I'll be waiting. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, this dude's voice would have been like, Yeah, this, yeah. What, you wanna train? You wanna train, you cunt? I'll train you good. I'll make you run fucking laps around this town, you dirty dog. Yeah, that's right, you dirty fucking dog gonna run around the fucking town. <laughs> anyway. But it kind of hurts to make my voice that deep constantly. Just a little. Well, it still says to walk around town. It sounds a sliver away from talking dirty. What? No. Does it? Fuck. That's that's not my intent. The tone, not what I was saying. Huh. Oh well. I just kind of was trying to do like uh like a bike like an Australian biker gang voice I guess But I can, I can see what you're saying.
It's the kind of voice where, like, if you were to say th things that are sort of, I guess, completely innocent on their own with that voice, they would seem less than innocent. Hey there. Wanna go get some cake? Mmm, cake. Cake with frosting. Delicious. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. Almost said something back, but it would have been awkward. That's fine. Nothing wrong with awkward. Wait, what is this place? Oh, it's karaoke. Okay. You know what? Let's go with the obligatory, like, Will fucks up the rhythm game in Yakuza. You can sing with Hana. No, we'll sing alone. This is, this is my favorite part of the game, and yours, I'm sure, too. Oh yes, yeah, so let's play, let's play the rhythm game that Will fucks up in almost every single Yakuza game to date. Okay, what are we singing? Okay, that one. That one. Alright, we're, we're doing this one, Raindrops. And we're doing Lively. Because we want this to be a fucking disaster. Here we go. So far, so good. Not doing too badly. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be way worse than what this is. Nope. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh my. No! No! Oh my god. What the f the problem is I fell behind and then like my brain was just like fuck 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 and before I knew it it was just it's over like I've ruined this This is why I don't play these games. I don't understand how people can play Guitar Hero. You hope your neighbors can hear me. All right, it's time to watch the most filthiest porn because this is what you, the user, has picked. Let's queue up the most filthiest porn there is on the internet right now.
Okay. They've heard worse. They've heard worse than filthy porn. Alright. Anyway, that's the the obligatory obligatory will fucks up the rhythm game segment of the series. Yep, alright, we move on. Wait, it says there's something here. They've heard you in various states of, um, you know. No, I don't know. That could mean anything. What is this? This looks underground gambling. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Shogi. If I could understand the rules, like, that is way too... Intricate. They've heard you fucking. Okay. Got ya. But then, hang on. But if it's... You know what? No. <laughs> no. It's all right. It just brings further questions. Okay, so like... I was talking about making it sound like we we're about to watch filthy porn, right? You said that they've heard worse. And that worst thing was you fucking. So you're saying that you fucking is worse than filthy porn. Which porn involves fucking. Anyway. I mean, shit, as long as you don't get, like, a note posted on your door or something the next day. Or, like, a round of applause. You know, the comedic- the comedic answer would have been... Oh no, they've heard worse, Will. They've heard you. They've heard the noises you make when you're playing games. Sometimes I play the stream out loud and they're like, Jesus, what the fuck was that? You got a noise complaint once. <laughs> And the neighbor confirmed it was, if it was you, jeez. That's funny. Um, I, mean, I guess it wants me to go back to the building, so... There's no side quests or anything on the board. What the fuck are they looking at? Oh, they're talking about me. But why they why were they looking up at the sky? <laughs> that makes no sense. Unless they're looking at the sign on my door, which maybe. Oh shit. I have a bad feeling about this. Might as well get this over with.
Hello? Anyone home? <sighs> Great, just the guy I want to see. Going somewhere, Akiyama? I mean, this is your office. Give me a break, Suguchi-san. We talked more than enough last time you hauled me in, didn't we? I'm not here to arrest you, I'm here to protect you. So try showing a little gratitude for once. What are you talking about? Just sit your ass down and I'll explain. You sure took your sweet time coming back here. What kind of trouble have you been getting yourself into now? Trust me, I'm too exhausted for trouble. Crazy, I know, but some of us take a break from our regularly scheduled bullshit every now and then. So what do you want? Notice the officers outside? You know, I hadn't before, but now that you mention it, I vaguely recall one or two of the boys in blues out there. Well, get used to them, wise guy. You're going under 24-hour surveillance for the next few days. Huh? What for? To keep you safe, dimwit. You and your shop. The Shibata family's after you, aren't they? You said so yourself, back at the precinct. That doesn't mean I need your watchdogs lording over me. Just spare me the bullshit, okay? You know who cleans up after the messes you make? Us. You think babysitting a worthless crook like you is my idea of a good time? Come on, Sugichi-san. Doesn't matter either way. This dumpster fire is way bigger than a half-wit slimeball like you. What do you mean? The shooting two days ago. Shit's about to hit the fan. Ah, this fan's got a name. Isao Katsu... Kat, chicken Katsu. Isao Chicken Katsu. Ka <laughs> it's so late for me to be doing this. Isao Katsuragi. Captain of the Une... Look, look at this. I apologize for anyone that speaks Japanese and I'm completely butchering the language, but you gotta understand, it's like, it's past fucking midnight. Ugh. <clears throat> Isao Katsuragi, captain of the Uneo Sewa clan. He started making waves. It's not my fault, it's hard. Oh, it's Daigo. Hey, at least I, I put effort into reading. I try to make it interesting. I'm not reading in a monotone voice. I try to make it entertaining for you, the viewer. This どうしも会長。葛城さん。登場会としては今回の騒動これ以上大ごとにはしたくない。それに登場会と上の聖和会は二代目時代から二十五年来の親戚関係がある。ここはお互い事を荒立てないのが特策かと。Man, it's crazy to see this dude's character. From being like a snot-nosed brat in the, in the prequel. To being like a little bit uh, haphazard, and now he's just like completely... ...steadfast and mature. その金はあくまで今回の騒動の迷惑量だと思ってください。同格ね。その額ではご不満ですか。わかりました。入れ。Kind of interested to see how they're gonna split the story here. K 
カズラギさん今回の金村の一件本当に申し訳ありませんでした What's that? I'm not even going to show it. Shibata san, deshita ki? Hai. Tojo kai no chokkei no oyabun san tomo aro o kata ga. What's in the package? Don't you dare say that's what she said. Suru ni ne Shibata san. Ima no jidai waza waza itai omoi shinakute mo. Kejime no tori kata wa hoka ni mo iroiru aru de shou. Oh, okay. Right. It's a pinky. Shinseki can care none this girl. Katsuraki-san, do you mean this girl? Dojima Kaicho. Honkai no sodo, Ueno no Sewa 上野義春も思いは同じです桂木さんだがこの金と指で全てがチャラというわけにもいかないでしょう少なくともうちの組員たちは納得しないと思いますよ道島会長今回の騒動で殺された伊原の役職をご存知ですか I don't know what it is about this guy, but he just has his... It, his face just doesn't look right. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. There's something wrong with his face. I just feel like there should be bolts sticking out of his neck. <laughs> あの金と指一本では釣り合いません。いや、だがそれは。おっしゃりたいことはわかります。先ほどは同格だと言ったものの、所詮は登場会と上野清和会では格が違うだろうと。でもね、うちの組員はそれじゃ納得しないんですよ
マジマさんです。チーズ。カシワギさんの死後、白鵬会や錦山組といった若頭補佐はなくなってしまった。あの浜崎組も破門。となると自動的にマジマさんくらいしか。I really hope it doesn't come, come to that. Danga Sasugani Watashimo. Ihara no Karini Majima san no Kubio Sashida Seto Madeo, you tsmo. He's like my, one of my favorite characters in this. Skara. I know Bill no Kensis to K no Kendi Sai Tatagiriba. Surede Utsuno. It's quite possible he's gonna die in this game. Yoku o Kangai no Ue. ご決断くださいそれでは It's kind of like either way, right? Like If they offer him the building Majima's gonna lose it and probably go die In a blaze of glory Or if they choose to kill him He's gonna die in a blaze of glory So That about sums it up Huh? And the end result, the Tojo, particularly Shibata's crew, are scrambling to track a ride down before the cops or the Enuo. Ueno, I heard the word and I can't read it still. Ueno Sewa get their claws on him. Too bad nobody's got a clue where he is. Been keeping an eye on the people he's buddy buddy with, hoping he'll try to make contact. Which lands us in the here and now. So that's why you've been hounding me in Keto. Pretty much. So we're going to be keeping this dump you call an office under our thumb for a while. Which means no more waltzing around town like it's business as usual. Got that? Noted. Good. I'm out of here. Just a sec there, Sugichi-san. What now? You're in criminal investigation, right? Why go out of your way to poke your nose into this? Hmm? I thought organized crime is usually in charge of this kind of stuff. That's none of your damn business. Sorry, just curious. But if you ask me, I bet you're hoping to score enough brownie points to finally bag that nice fat promotion from HQ. You shut your damn mouth and I said stay out of it. All right, all right. Forget I said anything. Does make me think, though. What am I even doing anymore? Uh, Sugechi-san? Forget it. Just thinking out loud for a sec there. You see a lot of shit go down when you've been on the force for almost three decades. Hey, looks like you got a customer. Hmm? Oh, it's her. Excuse me. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Please, sit. Thanks for stopping by. No, I should be thanking you. If you say so. Now, you sure you want to do this? Yes, I have nowhere else to turn. Whatever the test, I'm prepared to take it. Great. Then let's get started. Okay? You ready to go? Go? Go where? Out on the town. The first part of the test is a date with yours truly. Oh, come on, really? A date? Let's see. How about we start by buying you a nice new dress? Oh, and maybe a necklace or two? Shopping? You know I can't afford that right now. What kind of guy makes his date foot the bill? Come on, it's my treat. Huh? But... Sorry, this is part of the test. We need to make you as stunning as possible. You said you'd do whatever it took, right? That's right. Great. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't know what this character's deal is. He's a bit odd. But most of these tests, he does have, like, a deeper meaning to them. But in the case of this girl, like, there's a photo in his drawer. And it appears to be of, like, a younger version of him or a group of friends or something. And she's in that photo. 
but she doesn't recognize him, but he recognizes her, so there, mu there must be more to this. You ready? Where would you like to start? Your dress or accessories? I don't mind either way, but are you sure about this? I feel bad having you buy so much for me. That's nothing, honestly. Like I said before, we need to make you absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning risottos. Now let's go. <laughs> Hello? Where's my fucking risottos? I need them to be absolutely stunning. I need them right now. Oh, she's following me, so she's going to be complaining I'm walking too fast. Uh... Okay, I guess. This dude's a new character, so I'm not quite sure what his motives are, 100%. You showed someone the grilled cheese video the other day, and they were just speechless the whole time. Until he cut it in half, and they scream, it's not even melted. <laughs> yeah. Internal screaming video, and then it becomes external screaming. Okay, so what is- what is- what is this highlighting for me? Oh shit, we can go here. Oh, this is new. This hasn't been in the previous games. They actually added something here. Oh damn, this this just makes me want to make the instant noodle, instant ramen stuff I have. Oh, there's some good stuff. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Really? Really? I seem to show people videos that they just show other people in a way to just instill suffering upon them. <laughs> like, you know what their reaction's going to be. You know that everyone's going to hate that video, and yet it's still... It's like, you want them to react the same way you did the first time you saw it. Just be glad you weren't around when we were watching the, uh... The Sonic the Hedgehog videos. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You haven't seen anyone in the movie we watched yet, mostly because everyone still... Wait, everyone looks up stills and says no way. Oh, yeah, funky for us. I don't know, be adventurous. Like, it's, it's not... It's not that bad. It's just... You have to be prepared for... The weird. Milestone's one of my favorite dress shops. I'm sure they'll have something that suits you here. All right. Good to see you, Akiyama-san. Hey there. I'm looking for a nice new dress for this girl here. Think you could help me pick something out for her? Of course, sir. Let's see. What do you think of these? Okay, the mermaid gown. Mermaid or... Long halter gown. They're both wine color. I mean, I guess one shows off boobs and the other one is more like for for butts. Boob or butts? I could just flip a coin. <laughs> 
Why is it a why is it a mermaid gown though? What? Butts boob. Oh, thank thanks for being helpful. Uh, it, okay, hang on. It says it amplifies the wearer's sexiness, whereas in this one is elegant. Sure to turn heads. Alright, well, alright, going with the mission, right? Mermaid is a style of dress. Alright, shows what I fucking know. Me being a dumbass and not knowing about this shit. It's just like, I'm thinking, oh, that doesn't look, that doesn't look like a mermaid. What do you mean? It's not green. It doesn't have, like, a pattern to imply scales, or... Why would a mermaid wear this? You can sell it- You can send the bill over to my secretary, Han Chan. Sorry for the trouble. It's no problem at all, sir. We just- We'll do just that. Please come again soon. That takes care of a dress. Next comes the accessories. Let's pay a visit to Lamart, shall we? To be fair, I don't wear dresses as far as we know. No, but, like, I guess I haven't heard anyone talk about them in the context of, like, names and stuff and what to call them. Or maybe I just don't, <laughs> don't listen to it. <laughs> but, I don't know. Anyway, I went with Elegant because the whole quest is, like, to make her look stunning, right? Not sexy. Let's buy some accessories here that'll look good on you. Okay. Absolutely stunning. Welcome, Akiyama-sama. Looking for something in particular? Okay, Elegant. That one's easy. Will that be all for you, sir? Yeah, that's all. You can send the bill over to my secretary, Hanachan. Sorry for the trouble. No troubles at all, sir. Let me walk you to the door. Thank you, sir. We hope to see you again soon. And that just leaves your hair, makeup, and nails. You mind going it alone from here? All of that will probably take a while. Just tell them Akiyama said put it on Sky Finance's tab. Thank you. Meet me over at Elise once you're done. It's right across from the Millennium Tower. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason they call it a mermaid dress. That could be something that I learn. And just, it'll be a factoid that my brain will retain, and it'll come up at a moment where I will use it. But it'll push out some other important piece of information that should probably stay instead of that. It's fitted out until, like, mid-thigh, then it flares out. It makes you look like you're wearing a mermaid tail. Right. Okay. See, your purpose. There's a- there's a- there's a purpose. I just remember some urgent business I have to turn to.
Oh, okay, sorry, I'm just good. Got ya. Out of context, it's like, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, that's fine. But see, that one, that one, because it's green, it's like, yes, I can associate that with a mermaid dress. My, I would not have asked questions at all. Hey, is Lily Chan here yet? She's waiting in the back room, sir, right this way. Okay, let's get start- oh wait, okay, let's get started. Yes, let's. First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. Oh god damn it, this is gonna turn into the hostess minigame. I just realized what this is about to become. <laughs> this is going to be the minigame I suck at. <laughs> oh no. Yep, yep, yeah, okay, yep, it's this, it's this mini game. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this one. Because there's, like, the thing is, right, it's not that I can't pick out something that looks good, it's more just like, they ask for particular things and I don't know what clothing is considered what. Like, what is the measure of something being refined? What is the measure of something being cute? What is the measure of something being flashy? And something being gorgeous like the, it doesn't at least in the previous game there was no way to know until you tried it all right all right i'll tell you what if it's the mini game you will pick everything amy everything and then we'll see if you understand this fucking chaotic system they have for this but it's not a date He's gonna put her to work. You're gonna work now. Alright, part two. You ready? Yes. Good. Now, I want you to entertain me as if I were a customer. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's not going to happen, but it's at this club, so I will try it. A customer? That's right. You've just been hired as a hostess, after all. You're going to be the number one girl here. Me, number one? But why? Well, as it turns out, I own the place. We managed to stay in the black, but in this economy, well, we're basically treading water. Oh. And that's where you come in. A new face to freshen up our line could really boost sales. I see, um... Yeah. I understand the test, but I'm not sure I can reach number one. That's so. Then I guess you don't need the hundred million. What? We haven't even started and you've already decided you can't do it. You should just call the whole thing off. No, I'll do it, please. That's the spirit. And don't worry, you're number one material exactly as you are. Speaking of, how do you determine a hostess's rank? Is it by... sales? You got it. Starting today, you'll have three days to make us three million yen. Three million? In three days? Do that and you pass the test. I'll loan you the hundred million yen, no collateral, no guarantor. And if you can't do it... We'll just pretend this never happened, like we discussed earlier. It's weird that it just starts reading it now. Wait, what? Fuck, okay, bet, oh, while I'm here, huh? So <laughs> Oh man, every time I stretch, I feel like an old man. <laughs> My muscles are so sore from moving all that stuff. Fuck. Oh, 
オーナーっつっても自分の店で遊んじゃダメって決まりがあるわけじゃないでしょ今はただのお客さんつまり俺が君の最初の客ってわけ<笑>そうその笑顔いいねさあそれじゃあ今日は楽しませてもらえますかわ<笑>かりましたそれじゃあお客様お飲み物は何になさいますかそうだねおっぽい I'll put this to the test. I think this, this is just the initial tutorial part. Well, I should probably get going. Get some, got some other things there. Ah, ah, got some other things to take care of. You know how it is. Leaving already, but we only just got started. Sorry. Can't have the owner keeping his future number one all to himself. It's bad for business. Of course. But what do you say we meet up after your shift? Are you asking me out on another date? If you want me to be. Okay then. It's a date. Great. We'll reconvene in Theatre Square. See you there. Okay. Oh, that. <laughs> Thanks for the Prime sub. Appreciate it a lot, Amy. Wait. Oh, it doesn't... Wait. Maybe it's not going to let me play that minigame. Okay. <laughs> you, you can get away with it. You're not gonna you're not gonna pick it. That being said, I expect I fully expect that minigame to be here at some point. It just might not be in this dude's chapter. Um Cause otherwise why would they show the stat screen? That stat screen is a hundred percent from that minigame in the previous game. I just could not understand. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Maybe it might be this. Maybe it might be this. It might be that I just need to finish the date with her. Okay, that's fine. We're, we're okay. Freakishly large hands. What? Who? The character? I don't know. They seem fine. I mean, relative to everyone else, it seems normal. This is also a remake of a PS3 game, so it's not exactly the best. Well, hello there, Akiyama-san. Fancy meeting you here. I'm sorry, you are? The competition. You've no doubt heard of Tenjin Loans. I'm Arima, the president. Ah, yes, I've heard rumors. Well, we won't get into what kind of rumors. <laughs> Did you need something? I was just heading over to your office to talk to you about a little something. My office is right over there, though. Mind if I take a minute of your time? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite, really. I just want you to hear me out. Alright, I'll be happy to. His hands are bigger than his head. That's, that's a ploy to get someone to put their hand in front of their face and then you just push the hand into their face and they slap themselves. Nice try. You know, we hear our fair share- oh wait, wrong. You know, we hear our fair share of things today about a five- I'm so tired. <laughs> oh yeah? Things like your unique business model flying in the face of good business practice. <laughs> Rumor has it your system can't function without a huge amount of financial backing. What was it you wanted to ask me? Oh, of course. Please forgive me. I can be a real chatterbox sometimes. I'll cut to the chase. Will you join forces with me, Akiyama son? Join forces? And through into a partnership, we'll help each other out. Hmm. If Tenjin Loans and Sky Finance were to join forces, share our connections and client info, I'm sure business would be much more efficient. 
And because we can expect bigger bank loans, we'll be able to expand the scope of our operations too. Care to rule alongside me as the kings of Kamarocha of Finance? No, thank you. Why not? I think it would be a pretty sweet deal. I'm afraid I prefer working alone. You don't come across good offers this good, every good, good day, inserting the extra good in the good, good sentence. If it were, oh, if it were that good, you wouldn't be making it to me. You couldn't even have a, ugh, like, you could even have a big office in a bright, shiny new building, not like the grimy old dump you have now. Good, 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 yes. <laughs> hey, Judy, how's it, go how's it going? How's things? Long time no see. Stuff I should have said at the start, but brain collapsing in on itself slowly but surely. Um, old and grimy suits me just fine now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Look, we tried to talk to you like a grown-up out of courtesy, but if that's the way you're going to be, I have other methods. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> going good? I, uh, good to hear. Uh, alright. So, that cool, that was a waste of time. I was hoping to get into, uh, the, the club minigame where you dress a hostess up and you earn points based on how well she fits the crowd in terms of what they want and completely hand it over so I have no choice in the matter in terms of decision making, but unfortunately the game has steered me away. Hey you there, do you think you can get me something to drink? Don't worry, I don't expect you to do it for free. I'll pay you back. You always treat me nice, so I owe you anyway. I'll be waiting right here for that drink. Yeah, but that's that's not why I'm here. What the fuck? I'm standing directly on top of where I'm su Am I? What do you mean? No, it's not this. Am I blind? I hope I'm good too. I'm doing alright. Just a little bit tired. I was helping my brother move over the weekend, so I'm a little sore. Uh, yeah, been busy a lot with work. That's pretty much it. Just trying to s settle back into a normal pattern of things now that... Things are less restricted. Okay, what the fuck? Where is this? It says here. It says meet up with her at Theatre Square. Unless I don't see her. I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> She's going to be right in front of me or something, and I just haven't seen her. I got cylindrical garbage. Oh, there were, okay, no, maybe, hang on. Plot point. Akiyama-san, this is Tanuma from Elise. Lily-san just went home, and I finished totaling her sales for today. Great, thanks. How'd she do? Just over half a million yen. That's amazing, considering it's only her first day. Pretty impressive, yeah. But she's gonna have to step up her game if she wants to pass. True. Maybe you could drop in during her next shift? It might help having you go there and give her some pointers. Okay, this might be it. Not a bad idea. Sure, why not? 
Thank you, sir. See you then. Alright, that's gonna be the minigame. I hope you're ready, Amy. <laughs> Prepare. Biggest fashion sense is required to make sure that we get them sales and propel to number one. <laughs> hey, virtual hugging. How's it going? Sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries at all. Nice work today, by the way. Getting used to it? Yes, but... Hmm? I'm a little worried about how much I made today. It didn't feel like very much. Do you want to know the actual number? If you don't mind. Yes, I would. Alright, here goes. Your turtle today came out to... 500,000 yen. That's... it? Hmm. Why the long face? That's pretty dang impressive. No, I know, but that still leaves another two and a half million in two days. Don't worry, today was all about settling into the job. And hey, you didn't even have a full shift. I suppose. Seriously, you'll be fine. I'm sure of it. What's so funny? You're a very interesting man, Akiyama-san. Yeah? You say this is a test, but now here you are telling me everything's going to be fine. What's wrong with that? It's not like I want you to fail or anything. Don't you? Of course not. I want nothing more than to lend you that money. It might be a test, but I've been hoping you'd succeed from the bottom of from the blah, 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 from the bottom of my heart. Akiyama <laughs> san. Plus, I know you're not just gonna take failure lying down, not with that much money on the line. Yes, you're right. I can do this. This is the same guy from before. What happened to the white suit? This is a different character that we've been introduced to at the start of this game. So, he's being the main character now, but I guess we'll find out why. That's more like it. Just try not to stress too much, yeah? Keeping cool is half the battle. Okay. Now, how about we enjoy this date? Anywhere special you'd like to know? Um, can I ask you something first? Why are you being so nice to me? Well, because you're worth it. I'm not sure I understand. This isn't part of the test, is it? Not exactly, but hey, remember the date we were on earlier? Let's just call this part two. So it is part of the test then, and here I was ready to join you on an actual date. Look, it doesn't matter what it is. Just keep me company for a while, okay? Now, that's settled. Where do you want to go? Your pick. Hmm, I get to choose? Any way you want. Don't worry, if you can't think of a place, though. I have plenty of spots we can stroll into if need be. Oh, well. There actually is somewhere I'd like to go. You sure you don't mind? Of course not. So, where to? A bar I've heard over heard about over in the champion district i think i'll recognize it once we get there yeah all right let's go i think i just need to take like half a second to <laughs> read what i'm about to say but the problem is i'm kind of doing it on the fly and i'm stumbling over my own words which not great but whatever I'm making an attempt to make this interesting. I'm not reading in the same voice every time. As bad as it may be, at least it's something. <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. The vote of confidence is appreciated. If this was a warrior game, I would be having no problems voicing a warrior. Oh yes, come on baby, let's go. Where is this bar you're talking about, huh? Is it somewhere here? Yes, I think so. Though, I don't remember this building being here before. Really? It's been around at least as long as I have. Probably way longer. You think we could head inside? I'd like to see it for myself, if you don't mind. 
Oh, uh, sure. Okay, we're on the rooftop. What did you want to see here? Wait, I do know this building. It really brings back memories being up here. Yeah? But back then, it was one of the taller buildings in the area. It really stood out. I probably didn't recognize it because of how small it seems in comparison anyway. Uh, did you used to come around here a lot? I lived here, yes. Honestly, it feels like that was a lifetime ago. Eh? Uh -huh. those, those were the days, sure. I was always broke and lived in a tiny apartment, but life was good. Really? Tell me something, why are men always so busy looking upward? Uh, I'm sorry? They work themselves to death for that one big break, and then they end up forgetting the girl by their side in the process. Oh, I, I suppose a guy in my line of work is kind of biased, but... Whether it's family or the one you love, it's tough to make anyone happy without money. Men tend to take that responsibility pretty seriously. Eh, uh, we're all desperate to crawl our way up into something stable. That's my theory anyway, <laughs> I'd be fine without all that, if that had stayed the same. I would have been the happiest girl in the world. Eh, so you can't understand how money changes people. Yet, you still came for me for a loan? Strange, isn't it? I never really cared about it before, and now I need it more than anything. <laughs> Life's good at throwing you curveballs like that. Makes you wonder, though. Why does the money make the world go round anyway? Eh? Oh, yes! Look at the stars! So beautiful! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. But see what I mean? I have no problems doing that. Because I guess if I do trip over myself, I kinda just make it part of him. Very bold, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? Because I could. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry for that, eh? 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 Come on, as if it didn't make you laugh. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that? Oh yes, it's time for a real warrior voice. Hey. Mata Shibata Gumika. Antaramo Korina, eh? Nameta Kuchiki den Jonezo. Shibata no koto wagatte de Kenka Rutinoga. Oh shit. Shibata Gumino Kotona, Yoko Shitimos, yo. I'm ruining it. 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 I do enjoy this character's kicks. They are much better than Kiryu's kicks. Okay, I can't grab him. That's fine. 
Ah, uh, wait, that's an ashtray? I thought that was like a grill. I mean, you gotta, you gotta give him credit, right? Despite seeing what I'm doing to their, their friends, they still decide to stick around. Oh no, no, ah, oh, I wanted the sword! Where's the katana? Give me the oh, Damn it. It's somewhere I can't actually reach. The physics went just mental on that one. Okay, hold up. Uh, items. I want to get to the part where we do the fashion thing. Then I can prove that it's not as easy as it looks, like... And if I need to earn money to buy the dresses, I will, because I have an item that lets me walk around and earn money. We better get out of here before more show up. Come on. <sighs> Should be safe here. Yeah. Sorry you got dragged into that. It's been an interesting couple of days. It's okay. Hey, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Much as I hate to say it, we should probably call it a night. I'd hate to run into more of them. You're probably right. Well, do your best tomorrow, alright? I'll swing by and check on you if I can. Okay, good night, Akiyama-san. I guess that's the end of the chapter, so we're okay. I'm gonna laugh if, like, it just jumps to another character, because I get the feeling it's going to. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god, just save the fucking game! Okay, we got a, we got a cutscene, so... Nope, okay, we're still here. So that's why the Shibata family has been on our asses all this time. Yep. And how are things going on your end? Any luck tracking down arai -san? Not in the slightest. Not yet. I see. Tojo HQ's got the entire clan looking for him, though. I'm sure it won't be long before they find him. They'll serve him up to those Ueno bastards on a silver platter if we don't do something fast. Yeah. Things aren't looking so hot, Fox Nipples. I can't just sit down and wait on my ass. I gotta go find him. At least before HQ does, I have to know the truth. I mean, he'd never do shit like this for no good reason. Listen, Kido-chan, let's say Arai-san does have a reason. How exactly are you planning to explain that to the Chojo clan brass? What do you mean? Remember, their relationship with the Ueno Sewa has gone sour. But all that gets swept under the rug if they had hand over Arisan. Jesus Christ, I can't read. The Tojo doesn't really give a shit <laughs> why he did or what he did, or even if he did it at all. The only thing that matters is that he's their way out. So what, he just gets to be their sacrifice? Pretty much. But he... Look. Arisan's a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove he's innocent. That's why he's gone into hiding. So, what do we do? Take it. Huh? What's this for? This is the only way I can help now. Find Arisan before the Tojo clan or the police do. We can worry about the rest then. But Akiyama-san... Use whatever money you need to track him down. I've got other work to do, and you're the only other person I can count on. Akiyama-san, why are you doing all of this? Well, let's just say it's an investment. Arai-san's worth it. I don't get it. 
Why do you care so much about a riot anarchy anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, actually, it does. I'm looking for him because I want answers. And I'm not taking this cash until you tell me what you're up to. Hmm. Please. I need to know. <sighs> Fine. Okay, he's gonna talk now, so we're good. じさん、昔俺さ、新井さんに助けられたことがあったんだわ。え?秋山さんが新井の兄貴に。ああ。ところでお前、俺が昔ホームレスだったって話は知ってるか。え、まあ、噂程度に聞いたくらいですが、本当
カムロ町って猿山のボスになれるかもしれないって思ったんだカムロ町ってのは弱いやつから強いやつ<笑> I'm intrigued in this but at the same time I'm just thinking I just want to go to that mini game 群れみてえな場所だだが集まってくるやつらには一つだけ共通してることがある何ですか有名だよカムロ町に飛び込んだ人間は皆必ず夢を見てる夢いい女を抱きたい金持ちになりたいえばりたいどんなちんけなもんであってもここに集まる連中には皆それぞれの夢があるだがその夢を叶えられるやつはごくわずかだそして人は夢を諦める I just wanna prove you wrong so bad Oh it's got nothing to do with proving Proving you wrong What am I proving you wrong on? みんな夢を見続けていたい I just wanna see how you do That's この町では It's a difference 夢を見せられる人間が求められているんだそれが If you do poorly, it's amusing. If you do well, then I learn what you did. It's a win-win. 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 だがキリュウカズマというカリスマが去った今ボスサルとなれる人間はいる。Oh, right. yeah, okay. 機能しなくなった街から。See, I was kind of wondering why Kiri is not really in this, and I guess it makes sense. He's, he's at the orphanage right now. なんか That he's running. 深い話っすね。まあ、ちょっと周りくどい言い方。But I mean, he's, he's in there, in the, in the cover art and everything, so he's definitely in this game. At some point, it will have him. あきやまさんの夢のためにもあらいな兄貴を必ず見つけますこのお金はありがたく使わせていただきますおお何か分かったら俺に連絡してくれはいただいまあ伊藤さんあどうもスあ、I've not a single question. Ah, that took longer than expected. Maybe I should go check in on Lily-chan. What are you talking about? You've got debts to collect. Hmm? Did someone have a deadline today? Today? Try three days ago. People don't pay on time unless you remind them. What if they skip town? Alright, alright. So, uh, who are we talking about again? Sorry, I, I laughed. Um, the owner of Marimba, the bar in the Champion District. Now go collect that payment. Marimba, right. Uh, you promised you'd take care of it on time. But you went and blew it off like always. Did I? Well, there's no time like the present, right? Just make sure you actually go this time. Yeah, yeah. You heard it twice and you thought you misheard. Oh, no, no, no. Dude's name is Fox Nipples. Akiyama-san, this is Tanuma from Elise. Hey, Tanuma, what's up? Lily showed up for work. If you have time to spare, you should come and give her pointers. Alright, okay, I'll be there in a bit. Great, we'll see you soon. Hana-chan's not gonna like this, but I better pop by Elise for a minute. Oh, God damn it! what now? Everyone's buzzing about Forex, currency trades, blah 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 blah. The, okay, guarantee a principle. Sheesh, people still fall for this currency exchange crap. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing who's running this dog and pony show. Guess I should head on over to Sinria Avenue for some laughs at some point. I mean, I can only think of one worse thing would be like putting all your money into a photo or something, and then selling that photo. You know? Not the actual photo, but like, a file of the photo. 
Yeah, that'd be fucking stupid. Okay. Hello, Akiyama-san. Yo. Thought I'd drop in and check on the club. How are things? Remarkably well, given the state of the economy. Really? That's good to hear. But... But what? Well, it's Mickey. What about her? Maybe you'd better ask her yourself. She's in today. Alright. Have her stop by the dressing room. Sir? The manager said something was up. Everything okay? Oh, I don't know. What is it? You can tell me. You probably don't know this, but up until recently I had a regular named Taniguchi- Oh, fuck. Taniguchi. That's right. He was kind of a nerdy creep, but he wound up spending a lot of money on me. Five million yen. Huh? So you know about him? No, not really. Anyway. What about this Taniguchi guy? Well, he suddenly stopped coming to the club. He never struck me as particularly wealthy, so I just figured he ran out of money. And now that Tanaguchi is not coming around anymore, you're too devastated to concentrate on work, is that it? Absolutely not. I wouldn't shed any tears over one or two fewer nerdy types in here, trust me. So what is it? I just saw that dorky Tanaguchi running around looking like he owns the place. It's like he has had a major makeover. And what's worse, he had another hostess on his arm. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Who could have played a role in that? Hmm. He didn't run out of money after all. He changed his image, made himself all cool, then he dropped me for some other girl. Uh, surely losing one customer doesn't bother you this much? It's a matter of pride. It's as though somebody told me I was a good match for only the nerdiest customers. I've lost all faith in myself. Now that I think about it, a lot of my customers are kind of weird. That's not true. Fewer and fewer customers ask me by name. Maybe it's time I leave this job behind. I have an idea. Why don't I just give you a refresher course in hostessing? Help boost your confidence. A refresher course? Sure. After all, I'm the one who got you into this mess. Huh? Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, hostesses need to make their customers fall for them hard. You know that, right? Right. From what I've seen, you have no problem entertaining customers in the club. Then what am I missing? Are you getting dates after work? No, not really. There you go. What you need are dates. Consider them insurance, your backup plan. You think so? You bet. Dates are different. It's just you and your customer, one on one. How a hostess acts and the impression she makes at one of these special events have a big effect on her customer. I see. How about I give you some tips on how to make a customer fall head over heels for you? Yes, please. Excellent. Come with me. Yes, sir. Okay, no, this is different. It's not what I was talking about, but we will get to that. Right this way, please. First, let's get over the basics of how to interact with a customer on a date. I'm listening. How do you interact with a customer on a date? Oh. Ah, uh, Um. That's an. I. I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, what do you mean? A cust. A customer on a dude. Dude, where's Lello? Ah! <laughs> let's 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 just take the answers from this fucking quest. No, no, no. It's fine. I'm joking. We'll go and be more open. I think so too. <laughs> you should be more open and honest with a customer when you're on a date with them. 
open and honest. That's right. Why do you think guys ask hostesses out on dates anyway? I'd say they want to get to know us better. Exactly. They want to get closer to you so they can stand out among all your other clients. That's why you should be a little more open on a date than you are at the club. Okay. He'll think he's the only one who gets to see you who you really are. Which, he'll figure, makes him somebody pretty special. I get it now. Basically, interacting with the customer differently will make him see your date as more than just business. It'll be something personal, an experience for him and him alone. Right. So what? Oh, so what'll it be? Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll have a. Not so fast. There's a little trick when it comes to ordering too. There is, of course. When it comes time to order, oh yeah. I mean, if this is like a, a fucking transaction of making him come back to a club where he pays. When you go out to eat on a date, it's important to order your date's favorite dish. Really? When you see him at the club, get him to tell you his favorite in advance. Make sure you remember what it is. Then, when you're on your date, try to order it in a very matter-of-fact way. Oh, your favorite is such and such, isn't it? That'll make him think, gee, Mickey bothered to remember my favorite. Then he'll feel like you two have bonded. Okay. But the real key is to add, I like that too, while you order. Why is that? Well, for one thing, when your date says she likes the same food you do, it makes you happy. It also means you have similar interests. Oh, I get it. But what happens if his, <laughs> what happens if his favorite happens to be something I absolutely hate or I, I am allergic to, to the point that I will need an ambulance? I can be a very picky person. You're a professional. Just grin and bear it. Oh, do I have to? Guess I'll try. This looks amazing. Not so fast. There's another technique that comes into play when eating your meal. Is there really? Tell me about it. The thing to remember when eating is... A or B? One or two? I imagine two is the answer. <laughs> Just grin and bear through an anaphylactic shock. <laughs> As your face puffs up and blood swells to your head. Just smile. Yeah, alright. When dining with a date, you have to maintain proper etiquette while, at the same time, creating a domestic atmosphere. Domestic? Really? That's right. A hostess is typically seen as the polar opposite of a domestic type. So by projecting this homey aura, you accentuate the gap between the two lifestyles. A hostess who might seem a little distant at the club comes across on a date as friendlier, more accessible. It's like you said before, you have to project a sense of intimacy. Exactly. So how do I do that? Well, let's see. If a dish uses seasonal ingredients, for example, point that out to your date. Or if a meal is nicely presented, say you'd like to try it making yourself one day, play up the fact that you can cook. You'd be hard pressed to find a guy who doesn't love that. Hmm. Anything else? When your date says something's tasty, or what have you, say something aligns, uh, along the lines of, Oh, I'll keep that in mind. It's almost like saying, I'll make that for you sometime, right? Yep. It's just the promise of your cooking, though. You don't actually have to go through with it. Fuck that. Can you imagine if you actually had to cook? Ha! No one wants to fucking cook. I don't want to cook. Look at me. I'm out at this restaurant right now eating takeaway. I do it every fucking night. I'm a slob. But that doesn't mean that I have to show the fact that I'm a fucking slob on the date. No. I say that I'm as good as fucking Gordon Ramsay. 
<laughs> right, right. This has been very educational. Thanks for a great meal, Chef. We'll take the bill now. Coming right up. Now, there's one more thing I'd like you to remember when it comes to paying the bill. Okay. The trick about paying the bill is... I mean... But see... Ugh. A or B? You're writing these tips down. <laughs> B? Yeah. When dinner's over and the bill arrives, always take out your wallet and act like you're going to pay. You want me to put on an act? That's right. You're just pretending. Seeing you prepared to pay like that transforms the evening from a customer-hostess interaction to a much more private, intimate meal. Okay, you gotta look at this at the context of, like, she's a hostess, right? Not like, this isn't like they're two civilians going out on a date. That's the thing. I think that's why he's saying this. It's not that... Yeah. Context. <laughs> your date will feel even close, uh, an even closer bond between the two of you. Plus, he'll be impressed by your manners. Ah, I see. Your date will insist you don't have to pay, of course. At which point you thank him and put your wallet away. This way, you're both satisfied and he keeps his pride intact. Got it. Yeah, stupid fucking pride. A uh, date provides another setting for a building relationship formed at the club. Make the most of the situation of meeting outside the club and you can project a sense of intimacy you can't create at work. Your customer will feel close to you and he'll come to like you more and more. This has been so helpful. I'll give it a try then. Yeah, this whole thing intrigues me because it makes me wonder if like is this really depicting an industry in Japan? Because it's fascinating. It's like companionship more than anything else. I mean, maybe there's sex involved in, in reality and they don't want to depict it in the game, but I don't know. I've got my confidence back thanks to you. I'm happy to hear that. I think I'll send that Tanaguchi a message. What, right now? Uh-huh. I've got to get that newly hatched hunk away from that other hostess. Ah, well, I won't try to stop you. Also, what's wrong with nerds? Stop, like, shitting on nerds. There's nothing wrong with nerds. Mickey, it's been so long! Didn't you get a huge makeover? You hear about that? I guess Akiyama-san must have told you, huh? Akiyama-san? No, no, Mickey saw you walking around with your new look and another hostess. Oh, right. Well, I did have more girls coming after me once I changed my image, but we never lasted more than a date or two. It felt like I wasn't myself, like I was living a lie. I guess even the best makeover in the world is only really skin deep. I eventually came to accept that this is the best style for me after all. That's when I got your message, Mickey, and now here I am. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you must have really missed me. But I won't stray again. See you at the club! Yeah, there's nothing wrong with nerds. Stop it. <laughs> We're past- We are past this as a society. Oh, come on. I just- I just want to get back to... You love nerds, who else is gonna co-op Stardew with you? Exactly. It's 
sorry, I'm sorry. Vomits out 5,000 yen. Okay, the good news is the quest marker is back at the club. So we will see where this is going. Okay. Hey, I'm here to train Lily-chan. She in? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Oh, before you go, here are the funds we've set aside for her training. Please limit your spending on her to this alone. Guess I don't have much choice. Good idea keeping this separate from the club's finances, though. Okay, here we go. Amy, you're up. I'll assign no Naoki geez, to assist you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, sir. Or if... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Now then, let's show you to the back room. Of course, it's why you're doing your nails. You don't have to push a button. Just tell me what to do. Please pick out an outfit for your hostess. You can choose different types of clothing, makeup, and other items. There are only a small number of clothes available to you at first, but you will get more as you go along. However, getting new clothes or accessories costs money. Do your best to get by on the funds that we gave you. At our club, our girls go out on the club floor to entertain customers three times during their workday. There is a short rest period between each shift. During this time, you can adjust her outfit or provide additional training. We'll talk more about training next time. Okay. So, how are we dressing her up? We, as far as outfit goes, we have... And remember, we have a budget. So, one, two... Three, four, which we own, so that's free. Five, six. Looking in your eyes. I want to show that this is just erratic and difficult to master. Maybe they've changed it in this game and I'm going to eat my words. What kind of looks do we need? I don't know. That's the problem. You're just going to have to roll the dice and hope that the club likes it. And then the customers will be like, okay, we want this. It might be best to like, just stick to a low budget. We can, we can opt to use what we have right now and see if they react well to it. That is an option. Or we can change clothes, makeup, everything. So I leave it up to you. We can spend now or we can go out and like, Test the water and see what reaction this gets. Alright, let's use it. Okay. So we're going with this. She doesn't look very happy. Okay, no, they gave a little smile. Okay, that's fine. So at the moment, we are refined. Okay, go to the club. Let's see what happens. Looking good. You think so? Of course. Now go get him. Okay, I'll do my best. Get a feel for your customer's preferences by walking around the club, then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess. Guess I should take a stroll around the club. Alright, here we go. This is the part where I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Let's walk around. I prefer a lady with a res refined visage and a hint of debonair. Okay. Wait, really? Okay, a refined lady with a hint of debonair. A refined woman is like a unicorn, they don't exist these days. Nothing like a girl with culture. Nothing like a girl with culture. What the f- <laughs> She already has customers?! 
I like my girls refined and classy. Oh fuck, that's not fair. She's already refined and she's already refined. That's not fair. No, 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 no. I want it to be like they explicitly ask for something she is not currently. Oh fuck off. We don't have we don't have we don't have to change no, we don't have to change anything. <laughs> we don't have to change anything. Okay, round two. Stop! <laughs> Why? This is so snow. This is a fucking tutorial. This is. We will leave the tutorial and we would do this again when it is not a tutorial. Culture. Great. I, I, I guess we keep the budget of a hundred thou. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe this. Why the fuck did it give me- uh, I guess they changed this because it was annoying. Because in the previous game, holy crap. This was so bad. Culture. Culture. We will do- we will do this again. <laughs> it has to- it has to- you have to change your look. How much did she make? Oh, I can't go back in the building. The fuck? And to be fair, you picked the dress. Yeah, out of a 50 50 thing. It wasn't. If you had picked it out of the one and six there, I would have been like, yeah, sure, definitely. 50 50. 50 50. It's also possible the other one would have given you the stats as well. We don't know this. Alright, I'll tell you what. If that dress is, is refined, what was the other dress then? Was the other dress cute? I forgot the other two stats, but like... If you can get to the point where you can take the article of clothing, the hairstyle, and tell me which quadrant it belongs in, I will be impressed. Because that's the thing I could not figure out for the life of me. It just felt so random and dumb. I doubt it's going to happen today, though, but we'll see. Because her quest is one more... She has one more day. Wait, why are we... Where is this trying, Where is this trying to make me go? Marimba. Oh, there it is. Okay. Weird. Marimba. This is the place. Hmm? It's locked. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Huh? I guess I'll have to come back later. I have a good- I have a good fucking idea. I have an idea. 
I will boot up Yakuza 3. I will boot up Yakuza 3. We will go to the to the mini game directly and then we'll see. Ha, ah, drama queen. This this is the place that Lily said she used to work. Oh ho ho. Ha ha. Ha ha. I Hey cutie, you into that sort of thing? I'm sorry. You're taking a mighty long look at drama queen over there. So what if I was? Oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Akama bar, right? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you do. An Akama bar? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And you looked awfully interested. Just saying. Don't worry, though. I'm not judging. Oh, it's not like that. It's just... I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink here while I work. I'll give you a stiff on... <laughs> I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Not a stiff on the house. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things to do. Places to be. You know, some other time. Okay? Anything you say, hot stuff. I'll be waiting. Drama queens in a karma bar, huh? Why would Lily lie about working here? Maybe I should head inside. Have I seen Walking Erection lately? Uh, no. I mean, he was just like a little side character. He appeared in the prequel, so it's long past his time. What the? That being said, that there, there have been... What? the shit oh no he's he's dead must have been like this for a few days now by the smell of it the shibata family crest i guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the shibata that's a lot of blood nothing but a stain on the floor now I mean, this is, this is a crime game. Ugh, it reeks in here. Probably been writing for a while now. Why does it feel like I'm missing something? Better take another look around. What am I missing? Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers in hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. These are just like the ones Lily Chan had. Okay, that's it. That's probably all I'm gonna find. I better get out of here before someone sees me. Drama Queen's manager's dead, murdered, and a few days ago by the looks of it. He was practically naked too, just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanemura. Was it the same killer? Maybe somebody from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be. Sorry. Aw, you're no fun. Sticking around here will just land me in more trouble. I need to get to Sky Finance. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna start up Yakuza 3, just not yet. <laughs> it's going to happen. This music, though. I really wish I didn't have to fight these dudes. I better play that weird Mahjong game too. No, no, I'm good. I tried figuring that shit out. Nope.
I'll find out where it is exactly. Sorry to waste your time like that. This should make up for it. I think it's pretty much, you need to understand the rules of it, and the rules are very, very intricate. So, I'm good. And there's nuances behind it as well. Come on, dude. Like, he was facing the other way. How, what do you mean he saw me? I can't wait to go back to the modern Yakuza games. In the modern engine where you can avoid these fuckers easily. And they give you some wiggle room. Not like instantly be near them and then no nope, battle, too bad. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hurry up. After this cutscene plays and I can play, I can save, then that'll happen. Oh no. Who who did this? Oh, Kido-san! Sorry, I was just going to I was just going to go to the office. Sir, I'm just to go to the office. I'm just to is this a betrayal by Fox Nipples? Is he about to betray? Ah, そうでしょう。社長、いつも寄り道して遊んでるのを邪魔されるのが嫌で、携帯の電源切ってるんですよ。おかげで仕事が片付かない、片付かない。<笑> お客さん。なんか、いつか。また降りない人たちだな。すみませんけど、帰ってもらえます。社長も外出してますし、それでも用があるって言うなら、私が相手に。Jeez. Sorry, Chief. I tried to stop them, but... No, I should have been here to protect you. I'm the one who should apologize. Was it those Shibata goons again? No, it was some guy named Midori Kawa from the Hatsushiba clan. Hatsushiba clan? That's right. And he said something about their boss and Shibata being really tight. The guy really knew how to run his mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. It sounds like the Hatsu Shiba clan was helping the Shibata family track down Kido-san. They're after Kido-san. Where is he anyway? That's just it. Kido-san was here when they showed up. Wait, 
Midorikawa's guys jumped in, then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido-chan. He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Hmm. Um, Chief? Oh, sorry. Just thinking about something. So they took Kido-chan. The question is, why? No idea. Oh, that Midorikawa guy also stole that client registry. It sounded like that's what brought him that here, here in the first place. He said he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. Our registry? What would they want with that? Who knows? I'm more worried about Kido-san. Agreed. Sounds like I need to pay those Hatsu Shiba goons a little visit, collect on what they borrowed. Go get him, Chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not going to leave you like this, Hana-chan. And where the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards bust in? Don't worry about me. I already called for an ambulance. Heh. <laughs> you really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm gonna go get Kido-chan and that registry back. You got it, Chief. Okay. Better start looking for leads on Midorikawa. Man, oh man, the perfect shot's so close I can almost smell it. Or did I forget to wear deodorant? Oh, this guy again. You there. You see those tough dudes flashing their muscles like it's nobody's business? Nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamurocho is all about. The glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guys shaking down passers-by. Not that I like the last part. Tough dudes. Maybe he's talking about Midorikawa. Hold on there, buddy. Think we can talk for a sec? If this is the same as the previous game, it's pretty much... He will seem like an important character, but he's just here to take photos and do a photo side quest that I never bothered with. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? Of course not. Love talking to... Washed up porn stars. I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer uh, of humanity by heart. And I mean all of humanity. Right. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a money lenderer. I run a place called Sky Finance right over there. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. Yeah. Sure thing, Slick. These scary looking dudes were filing down the street one after another. Like the world's best cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shot too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's in dang marathon. Akiyama-san, have you ever heard, ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the world? Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call it revelations, a flash of inspiration, a spark on the old noggin, a rush of idea juice flooding your mind. What? Yeah, that's definitely something that's never happened to me before. Then maybe it's about time it does, and what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure, I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned? Hold up, the greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me find the perfect shot. Just like the guy in the previous game, only he totally ignored me, and I just went about my merry business emailing him every 15 minutes about the perfect shot, and then ultimately, at the end of that game, I didn't end up with the perfect shot. So here I am in a completely new game, asking you, a completely new character, to try and help me find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, I'd really just rather hear about... Then it's settled. Come on, it's hunting time. And we're hunting the biggest game of all, art. Guess I'm just gonna have to put up with this nut job for now. Oh. Don't look now, Akiyama-san, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on the roof over there. Something's up with that lady. And you're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you gotta do is whip out... 
all you gotta do is whip it out, man. Your phone, I mean, uh, uh, etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. My phone camera, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Oh, this is different. Just ask me if you're shooting in the dark and I can recite all that you- that to you verbatim. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, this seems less random than the other one. <laughs> Never mind, it's more random. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, I had to eat my own words. <laughs> Peak Yakuza content. I love how this is sprinkled amongst a serious story, like, we found a dead body in a building that was rotting only five minutes ago, and here we are. And now he's making a post on social media. What? 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 Hey Mac, is this the kind of mail you want? Man, there was really some perverted freaks in Kamurocho, but I was able to unlock a new technique from his movements. Shit, now they're- okay, now they're making this actually worth doing. Fuck. In the previous game, it did not do this. It was inconsequential. Pretty much. Wow, Yakiyama-san, you really did it. Think I'm ready to let my photographic prodigy out in the wild. Guess that means old Mac is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'll be like I never left. Anyway, think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about before? Oh, right, it totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs out onto Tenkaichi Street, but I lost them right after that. Hard to th see through all the buildings, you know? Tenkaichi Street, got it. That's not much of a lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it, Akiyama-san. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. So now I have to pay attention to Mac's emails. Fuck. I need to find Kido-chan and our client registry, but I have no idea where that Midori Kawa guy went. Better start asking around. <sighs> Kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off. I might have to hunt these down. Rooftops. Married couple in a bitter war in Little Asia. I'm gonna have to hunt these down, because now, now it seems worth my time. Whereas in the other ones, I was like, eh. Eh. I mean, if it's going to bring more of that, like, Yakuza classic flair, then sure, I'll, I'll look for these. That's what's so great about this game, is you can be playing it and be heavy into the story and then something like that just happens. 
And you often question why. And you never find the answer. Okay. Now. One second. I'm trying to find out where it is. Don't worry. Um, let me see where it is. Okay. Now, briefly, very, very briefly, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. I should probably change it real quick. Consider this bonus content. <laughs> eh, uh, what? Don't tell me I have to explore the gate. No, no, no. Load clear. Oh, thank fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's here. It's okay. Free exploration. We're good. Thank. Because it started New Game Plus. So we're okay. Which I never do, by the way. Okay, so. Um, we need to. Take a taxi. to Okinawa Airport. You can upgrade your ability. Um, map. Night life, where is it? Wait, isn't it here? Oh no, Cabaret Flawless, that's the one. Okay, head up the road. I'm pretty sure that's the one I manage. It isn't. Hang on. Did I miss the turn? No, that's the night guard. What the fuck is it? <laughs> ah, no. I can't run. It's okay, we got to see Kiryu for a bit. You can see how different his movements are. that one, so... Hang on. 
からかいいらっしゃいませ No, it is the visit. Which one is the one that I own? Hang on. It might be the other one. Give me a sec. It says a club manager in Hatsumachi, but it should be here. What's the other one? I'll find it. Don't you worry. Should be here. Unless, because clear the. Because it's save game clear data. Hang on. I want the actual location. I'm going through a lot of effort just to, just to make some something funny. I do love that when I look for this, the top result is how do you how do you win? Like how how do you win? It could be a thing that's only available in normal gameplay, which that's a little sad, but we'll see. Oh, you know what? It's gonna- it's gonna be one of my quests. Still. Assuming it's still there. Hold on. Okay, it's still here. Yeah, it's, so it is in Okinawa. So it, it, it should be here. I just need to find it. Mahjong. Huh? Let's just see. Ugh. Oh, you cunt. Why? Why is there a fight in a store? Okay, I'm looking at a video. Cabaret South Island. Alright, I got it. There's a sign outside the building that says Cabaret South Island, so that's what I'm after, and I think I know where it is. Stop wasting my time. so stupid. It doesn't point it out on the map properly. Anyway. This is it! Alright. <laughs> Take a- alright, okay, here we go. Here we go. Take a walk around the floor, then we can get down to business. Okay, here we go. Gorgeous. 
They have to be drop dead gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright. Gorgeous. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say anything on the stats of my character. Okay. Alright. So. Which one is gorgeous? Now you might think the one labeled as gorgeous might be gorgeous. But I was proven wrong in one of the one of the times I picked it. But you pick, you pick. One, two, or three. Now we're doing Can you see the pink one? Sure. We're doing everything. Absolutely everything. What does the description say? Sure. The first one is beautiful, standard, one piece, revealing but classic. A standard dress with a sexy trim. Dazzling to the max. Go with the gorgeous one? Okay. Hairstyle selection. Some might call it boyish, but who cares when it looks this good? I'll turn turn them around as well. The bob, nice, casual, and clean. The medium. Oh, natural. The updo. This is the default hairstyle. Loose curls. All right, that's it. Uh, express your freedom with this relaxed style. Modern and elegant. Nothing classier than a dignified look. Okay. <laughs> Updo straight, okay. You got it. Hair color. You would think this doesn't matter, but it apparently does. I should probably slow down. Second column, top option. This one. Okay. Now, I don't have much of a, much more of a budget. We need to earn money, but let's just see what we can do. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go here. So you can do... Okay, eyebrows. One. So I had them off. One. Two. Three. Okay, so there's three choices. Well, four technically with off.
one. Okay. Color. Match, or I imagine you'd want it to match. Or you can, I don't know, go absolutely mental with the colors. Match? Okay, thought so. Eyelashes. Off. One, two, off. So there's three options. Two, okay. And we have a black, the match, like a brownie color, blue-ish, obvious blue. Black, okay. Eyeliner. Off, one, two, three. Four, off. Okay. Two. Color. Black? Okay. Hey, I, I gotta ch Hey, I, I don't know. Hey, I, I don't know, okay? Eyeshadow. Off or on? On. Color. Oh boy. Tell you what, tell me a primary color and then the tone. Because it, it looks like it's just in intensity, more or less. Like, this is the most intense. Do you think that's why they added stuff just to mess with people? I mean, I feel like the demographic of this game isn't into this stuff, and they probably did just add it. First column, fifth one down. This one? Okay. Done. Glitter eyeshadow. You can have it. It's basically on or off. Hopefully it doesn't go over budget, but we'll see. We can, we can fine-tune if that doesn't work. Off. Okay. Color contacts. On or off. Bearing in mind you can pick the color. And I think even the style of it. Off? Okay. Let's just check the cost for a sec, yeah? Okay, we're still within budget, so we still got a bit. Blush. On or off? I, I can't even fucking tell. Oh, I see. That's where it's affecting it. I was like, what? I don't see a change. I do. Maybe because it's super subtle right now. On. Pick a color. First column middle, okay. 
glitter blush, which I assume because you didn't go glitter on the other one off, right? No as in no have it on or no as in have it off? Yeah, off? Okay, thought so. Lipstick. Apparently I had it off, so there you go. There's three choices, which I guess is... What? Matte? Glossy? Yeah. So matte, okay. Color. Green. Purple. Red, that one? Yeah, okay. Let's just... D still within budget? Okay, okay. I think that's, that's it on that. Now, accessories. This is the part where we probably won't be able to go nuts on, so let's just see. Okay, so I, 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 we might be able to change it, but right now it's petite, showy. So you have none, petite, showy. I can purchase this. I do have it in the budget. Remember, we're going for gorgeous, so is it more gorgeous to not have one? Clean, simple, refreshing. Inexpensive, petite. Okay, so what I had before. Okay. Necklace. None. A simple one with a love heart. The perfect complement to that cutesy look. Show off your wild side with a flashy necklace, which we can afford. Just we won't be able to get anything new otherwise. Or none. In case it's not obvious, I have not made much money in this game mode. <laughs> but this one is owned, so. You want the chain, but you want to see what else we can buy. Well, this isn't a commitment, that's the thing. So I can put it on, and then we can get rid of it if if it's, like, over budget. So I'll put it on. Nails. Cute nails. Decorated nails. This is over budget, by the way. So to have nails, you would have to give up the chain. centerpiece of any cute ensemble. Over-the-top nails will dazzle no matter what you wear. Chic and mature. Skip nails, okay. Ring. Uh, we won't- okay, so this we can skip because we're not- like, it's over budget regardless. The watch, I have- it's either watch or no watch. Because we couldn't afford the other ones, really either. Watch or no watch? A cute girly accessory that pairs well with a simple outfit. No watch? Okay. That's it! All within budget. A thousand to spare. Are you happy with this look? Okay. So, gorgeous and refined. Flashy, cute. Alright, let's see. But how will the people in the club react? That's the question. Okay. 
Okay, she's keeping herself occupied. Now they want cutesy. Yeah, you win. Hang on, hang on. It's not over yet. Now you need to do cutesy. Now, how do you go from gorgeous to cute? Now they want gorgeous. Oh, so look, gorgeous and super cute. Gorgeous girls all the way. Cutesy would be nice. Cutesy. So you need something that's still gorgeous, but has cutesy more. Which, actually, I think your character already fits those prerequisites. But nevertheless, let's just have a look. No, it doesn't. Okay. It, I mean, it kind of does, but it's not quite. It's like... You could, you could very well go out there and get some stats, but like... It seems cutesy is more in demand. So what would you do to make this more cutesy? Would you change hair? Tell me what to change. To make this more cutesy. This is the part that I'm interested in. Hair first, okay. We... Mm, do we have a budget? We have 3,000. This might be hard. Maybe we need to let this one ride. Because I don't have money. I'll tell you what, let's just let this one ride. Because we don't have money and that's not fair. We have to make this fair. She already fits the prerequisite of this. Let's just earn some money. It should be fine, like, she already fits the prerequisite. She sold 47,000, so that's great. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's... So, cute and innocent, refinement and modesty. See, this is what I mean, like, this one's harder, because it starts doing this shit. Where, like, you kind of have to hit two... Two quadrants at once, and how to shift your look into that quadrant. Anyway, just we'll go back. Um, we'll just. I think we're okay either way. Like I'm not changing anything. Let's just let it ride. Get some money. She still gets customers either way. Classy, refined. Oh yeah, sorry, that's tutorial. There's a reason I didn't play this. Okay. Great hustle. <laughs> but, 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 didn't, uh, what do you mean we only made 18,000? You see what I mean? It's kind of like... Uh, still in the red. Okay, hang on. Okay, uh... Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Here we go. This is a more vague one. Good looking. You need to be good looking. Which isn't a quadrant point, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, don't worry. It's just story stuff. She's just jealous that, she, you know, we're trying to take her number one spot. Hang on. Don't always train the same skill. Okay, anyway, look, like... Giving good customer service, first walk around the club, observe, then head to the break room. Okay, yeah, but we're already doing that. Like, you don't have to reiterate. Yeah, so... Okay. They want good looking, which I guess you could interpret as gorgeous, but last time they said gorgeous specifically. Should I change anything? Or should we go with this? I 
I mean, I imagine go with it, right? I'll tell you what, I'll just go. Don't worry. Let's just see how much this earns us by not doing shit. I was in love once, then I noticed she didn't shave. That's kind of fucked up. What the fuck? Smelling good is nice, but if she's butt ugly, then forget it. What the fuck is this club? Say, okay, look, 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 look. They asked for someone good looking. She doesn't have anyone. See what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? That wasn't like. See? Okay, so. What would you change about her now? We've seen the prop, right? Like, we got no one. So what are we doing now? They still want the same thing. What are we doing? Go. Dress. Okay, we'll see what we can do with what, what we have. We own all the dresses so you can change them. That's fine. I guess it's between one or two, right? We do have money in the budget for hair, so we can change hair a little bit. We can't go too crazy. Keep it or change it. I love how this is what the stream has become now. <laughs> No, but like I I'm I'm interested in this because I'm looking I'm looking at the train of thought. So then I can do this shit myself. Change the nails to cute, okay. That's nine thousand. Done. Uh anything to the makeup. We'll keep the makeup. Anything to the earrings. Don't worry, I'll plug it in. Yolo and see what happens, okay. Motivation went up. Now she is very flashy. Less gorgeous. Cute. Is this what you thought that that was going to be the outcome when you picked this? She's not as gorgeous now, apparently. Smelling good is nice, but if she's butt ugly, then forget it. This is... She doesn't have any customers. No customers. No customers. No customers at all. Looks can kill, right? Well, I'm dying. Murder me with your looks. Whoever you bring me, she's gotta pay more attention to her looks. I was in love once, then... This was my problem. I was like, what the fuck? do you even want like what is this this is stupid but okay now give give it one more try let's see if we can give what the what the customers wants <laughs> wait what's this looks one hold on hold on we got track hold on we got training looks 101 let's work on your presentation makeup hair Posture, all these things can send certain things signals to a man. Sounds juicy, tell me more. What the fuck? Alright. I think that about covers it. Not bad, Kiri-san. 
You're more perceptive than I thought. Okay, so her- what? <laughs> Maybe- Okay, let's not change anything and go to the club, what now? Nope, still nothing. <laughs> yeah, look. We'll, we'll check- we'll do one more. One more round of this shit. You're convinced they don't know what they want. Yeah, I mean... It seems to be better in... In the new one. Well, not the new one. Yakuza 4. But this, to me, I was like, what? Like, I couldn't... I couldn't interpret... The strategy behind this. She wasn't requested. 4,000 pro... Like, we went down. But that's okay, we still had money. We're not broke. Her stress went up. Okay. Let's walk around the floor, alright? Good looking, good looking, good looking, good looking. They want a good looking girl. Life is all about being good looking. If you don't look good, you might as well not be alive. So, those are some words there. It's important to prioritize your looks. We've received something new for the wardrobe. Okay. New wardrobe stuff. Um, training. I think we need to do this. So we're training her looks, I guess. Okay, well, you think I need to arch my back more, puff out my chest, stick out my butt? Which is it? Okay, thank fuck I didn't have to pick. <laughs> okay. We can now have a headband. Unfortunately, we can only pick between the first two. Anyway, what do I change? I know there's new earrings too. There's no new dresses. Okay. What do I change? Go back to the gold dress, okay. Anything with the hair. See, it's not easy, is it? <laughs> I want no laughter when I have to do this later myself. It's infuriatingly illogical. Yeah! It is, isn't it? Medium. Okay. Same color hair, different color hair. Make it black this time. Okay. Which means I imagine you want the eyebrows to match. Right? Anything else to the makeup? You want to leave the makeup? Okay. Uh, we have 5,000 in the budget. We can go ahead, band. It might, it might help. Or, uh, there's also... I guess we can't afford these. So yeah, we can choose to go ahead, band, if you want.
Well, the gold bow is girly vibe. But we don't have enough in the budget for it. We're short a thousand. So it's pretty much just this one right now, or you can leave it. Leave it? Okay. Alright, roll it. So you've, okay, so you've created a almost perfectly balanced character with this. You see? Do you see? Congratulations, you've created the balanced woman. But do the fans like it? Let's see. No, she's on her own again. Doesn't have any customers. Whoever you bring me, she's gotta pay more attention to her looks. You're not giving the customers what they want. Look at them. Fuck all these people you give up. <laughs> Hang on. Well, we can do training. Maybe let's do talking tips. Her stress is up. Nothing went up. Should we change anything or do we just go back in? Hope for the best. You know what? No, let me let me change it now. Just to prove how fucking illogical this is. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it with my stupid... Alright, I'm gonna do it. I know I know you're gonna hate this, but just just I want to prove a point here. Watch how watch how little I am thinking about this. Sure. Still doesn't have a date. <laughs> what the like what the fuck is it? What what is this shit? Like honestly. No, no, hang on. Training. Go into looks. Uh, now watch, I'm not gonna change a fucking thing. I mean, was there anything particularly wrong with how she looked right now? Okay, her looks have gone up to a C now. They've gone up to a C. Now let's go back to the club. Still on it. Still on her own. Okay, so. I'm just going to go into the men's bathroom and throw up. This is how angry this is making me.
Okay, now check this out. Apparently we made more than than yesterday somehow. Okay, come back. Here we go. Oh, she's not here today. Really? Let's do it again. Good looking, good looking, good looking, good looking, good looking, okay, okay. Yeah, you want good looking, yeah. Yes, okay. We're gonna train you on good looks again. Okay, let's just go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just go. No change. Okay, great. Like, still asking for good looks. Yeah. Can you see why I stopped, like, bothering with this? <laughs> Beyond the prerequisite of what the game forces you to do. Training. I'm going to train you in good looks again. This is literally all I'm going to do this time. Stress is up. <laughs> it's just the same fucking thing over and over again. I can't abandon. <laughs> Fine. Okay. One more time. I'm gonna... See, I can't even change the hair. That's fucked up, isn't it? But let's just... This one, right? Let's just... I'm, I'm going to make this as her- oh, it's 8,000, damn it. I can't go. Alright, fine. I was going to go with something, like, completely off the rails and mental. But let me- let me do that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Just... I'm proving a point here. I'm proving a point here. She doesn't look very happy. <laughs> oh shit! So let me get this straight. It can, it can pick up. It can pick up on that. It can pick up on the fact that that looks her. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> It's 
So the game, like, there's clearly something to it, right? It like, it has color coordination to some degree in it somehow. Like, I, I just don't understand it. <sighs> but I still made money. Oh dear. You created the perfect woman and you created- and I created a monster? No, 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 you created the balanced woman. But then when it came to the point where you had to make a good looking one, you couldn't. The game kept asking, I want a good looking one. You could not deliver the good looking one. Sorry, you could not deliver it. The game requested a good looking woman. Now she's not showing up to work. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh fuck. Anyway, I'm just here to roll the credits for Yakuza 4. <laughs> That's gonna do it for me. For tonight. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I've loaded this so we can have the, uh, yeah. This playing. As I say, my good nights, because I do have to head off into the night. Um, yeah, this was fun. Don't think that that's the last we'll see of that fashion game, because it's in this one, so we just have to experience it a lot more. But yeah, uh, it was fun. We'll see how I am after work tomorrow, uh, but probably a little bit of Isaac, and who knows, maybe something else if I feel like it. But, yeah, that, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, chat. Appreciate ya hanging out.